Most people don't even know that strawberry trees exist, and you can find them in one country in the Mediterranean, Portugal. So I went to Portugal to find the strawberry tree with my friend Haley. But to be honest, I didn't just go to Portugal to find only the strawberry tree. I also went to find the fruit that you make gin with, the fruit that you make incense with, and the tree that you make cork purses with. I found some really cool fruits in the wild. <laughs> Those are the types of seeds Try that Jessie. are edible. No. Oh. You're a wild, uh... Jessie! Wow, look at Jessie! Eat it! Good. Jessie's in her element when she gets to sniff and eat. I also ate some nice food in the city. I've never been to Portugal before, but it's the only place that still keeps the strawberry tree alive, so I was excited to venture around town to find it and taste it for the first time. Well, we started in the mountains of Sintra, and the tour guide recruited me as his plant lady. Are you surprised? Jessie. <laughs> yes, sir. What he really wanted to show me, though, was our first fruit tree, an olive this tree. This is an olive tree. But wild. This is an olive. It's the one that you make olive oil from. Oh, wow. But this is a wild. That means that you can do olive oil, but it takes you much more because they are not so sweet. But it's the same. It's the same hmm. tree. And what about if you eat them raw? Because I know sometimes sure. with... So awesome. Oh my god, look, dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Oh my god, throw with Jesse. Pat it again. <laughs> cactus pear. You can eat it you can, with, you burn can... the cacti off, cut it open. There's a lot of seeds, but yeah. it's really nice. Yeah. Tunas. Tunas. Yeah, yeah. Tunas. Tunas. Be careful, claro. be careful. I know. You know? <laughs> Be careful, Jesse. Oh. <laughs> this is what it's looking inside. Look at oh, it's, wow. it's not as ripe, but you're a wild uh... Jesse. Wow, look at Jesse. Eat it. <laughs> good. Yeah. It's good, huh? It's yeah. Sweet. It's nice. Anyone want some? Yeah, I want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. Can you two seeds? Yeah. Variety, different mm. cacti varieties. And just as I thought that it was getting good, it got better when our tour guide showed me a succulent called pig face, that fruit. Oh, where did yeah. you get that? <laughs> <laughs> Give me some of that. You didn't tell me this invasive plant from South, South Africa, Africa fruit. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that you were uh, an enthusiast of, because I am too. So this is the one. You take it? And those are the types of seeds Try that Jessie. are edible. No. Oh. <laughs> better. It's like a weird <laughs> version of a melon. Try it. <laughs> no, you're like, no, no, thank you. Look. Stop. Yeah. Come on. Oops. Yeah. There we go. Oh, wow. Right. How do you know about this? Yeah. yeah. There we go. Taste Little it. seeds. Can you see them? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Let's it's go. like weird. It's kind of like melon. I don't know. It's not like the other one. It's like limey cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. This one's got the seeds. The seeds almost look like kiwi seeds. Oh, no, that's a better explanation. Kiwi. kiwi? Oh. Given kiwi. This is true foraging in the wild. Next up, we found the incense tree, and I was pretty excited. Incense tree. You can make incense and burn oh. an incense. <laughs> Don't put it in your mouth. Sniff your fingers. <laughs> okay. Then we found black licorice, aka anise. This is anise. Yeah. Oh you can, yeah. Is it good? <laughs> That's a nice plan. Oh, this is great. Jessie's in her element when she gets to sniff anise and eat olives and cactus pear and this wild weird fruit from South Africa. <laughs> Jessie's the translator of the trip, actually. And the nice. Can we smell the thing again? It's nice. No, smell this part. Oh. Wow. Nice. It smells like pine. It's like licorice. Do you like black licorice? No. Okay. You? No. <laughs> hey! <laughs> She's being summoned. This is good to put in salads. If you take this, ah, okay. taste it. Sharp. The flavor is very good. You put it it's in like salads. It's like a little flower. It's like flowers. I like it. Read it? It's, it's, it's like a little. Grass, right? It's like an edible flower. Yeah. No. Yeah. no. Tastes like. Lettuce? I don't know. <laughs> How do you say it? Linyasa. Asparagus? Lino. Lino. Smell it. Fushu. Smell it. Oh. It's like sea asparagus. You can make tea with this. Now, all of this stuff was real cool, but I couldn't keep my mind off of the strawberry tree. Then I got summoned again. 
You cannot eat. Even the animals that they don't take this. But you can touch it? You can touch it, yeah. So don't, don't like eat it. this, you'll die. Don't, but I'll, I'll just touch don't it. Like it. You're fine. <laughs> And finally, we passed by this cork tree. It's really popular to buy these little cork items. And the tree trunk is the material from the cork tree. After nine and nine years, they make a cycle and then you start to take the cork. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. You can feel it. Yeah. It's cork. It's difficult. We would need uh, something to cut. Wow. Can anybody just go and take it from the tree or is there regulations? Yeah, this is just the skin. They were existing from here to Greece. But finally, I think we were about to come up on our strawberry tree because he said... And you asked for a aguardente de Finally, I was standing right in front of a strawberry tree, otherwise known as madronio. Looks like a lychee. Yeah, it's very, very sweet. Apparently it tastes like a peach and a mango and it's even used to make alcohol but for some reason this fruit's losing its popularity around the Mediterranean and Portugal is one of the only countries making an effort to keep the strawberry tree alive. But what does it taste like? Ooh. We were about to find out. The Medronio tree! Oh, is it tart? Oh. You need to try it. Okay. Tart. Yeah. <laughs> tart. It was so tart like a cherry. It didn't really taste like a strawberry, but I think it was so worth it to finally find the strawberry tree. I also learned that they use bamboo as barriers in communities, which was really cool too. You see the barriers that they would use to make for the agriculture. You see the bamboos? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And finally, we stumbled upon the fruit that you make gin with. You will recognize the smell of the, the, the gin. Let's see. Smell it? Oh yeah. Smell the gin? Mm-hmm. Do. These are juniper berries, and as the flavors of different plants and herbs were explored back in the day, the unique taste of juniper berries was discovered, probably through trial and error. <coughs> but then they developed distillation techniques, refined it, concentrated the flavors, and evolved it into gin. And as cool as foraging was, there was more to do, so off we went to the next stop. It was time to eat. We bought all the ingredients from the grocery store and Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> made these sandwiches ourselves and oh my god. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. Cheers. Then I tried a crab croquet. Is it good? Oh, interesting. It's like, um... Then we needed some sangria and pastel de natas, the famous pastry of Portugal. So off we went to the market. Now for the real stuff. Ellie, why are you with me? Ellie, okay. I want mm. That's Portuguese tart number one. Okay. As the night came to a close, we went for exotic seafood, okay? If you've never tried razor clams, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. They're so good. Then I ordered the biggest seafood plate they had on the menu and made Haley try it all for the first time. She's never had seafood. I like like a famous. Okay, ready? Ready. Oh, baby. Let's go. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that was that was my favorite. <laughs> oh, I spread stuff. Oh my god. Cheers. Also, it was my birthday. Happy birthday. Had a little snack the next morning and for brunch, oh my god, you guys. Oh, wow. so nice. Artichoke is one of my favorite foods in the world. You know how long it takes to get that out of the unbloomed flower? You know artichokes are unbloomed flowers? Are they, they roasted? Pick them right before they bloom until the flower, so it's like a rose before it opens up. And then they cook them and eat them. But if they were to leave them on the plant, they open up into a big blue flower. Oh, I don't know if you can eat them after they're 
First I tasted the salt, then mm. I tasted the olive oil, then I tasted the creaminess of the cheese, and then the artichoke. Like, <laughs> exactly. Jessie's feeling a little ill. She's working on those oregano pills. My throat hurts. I don't know why. Very nice. And Portugal isn't complete without sardines, so I took Haley for her first sardines. Haley's about to try this. I have descaled it for her. And this is what it looks like. <laughs> and as our trip came to a close, the only thing last left that we had to do was try all the exotic fruits that we didn't find in the mountains. Oh baby. Hello. So we have fresh fat figs. Oh. How are you oh eating it? Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, you that side too? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Not as the sweetest one I have had, but Fresh. Want to try a piece of lemon and see if it's riper? Is it good? Or is it? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Is it rating? Do you want me to finish it? Yeah. 7.5? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like agreed. It's nice. I think these figs were 7.5. I once tried to germinate fig seeds and I left them in the paper towel for a full year. Mm. Just hoping for the best and then a year later they grew. Mm. Mangosteen. The best fruit ever. If you like these, I'll be so happy. But if you don't, it's okay too. Usually take the top part off. Then you kind of just, but don't do it too hard because you don't want to squish the fruit. Oh shit. What the f oh. Oh. I know. I don't know uh, what's going on here. Should I just bite it? Oh, it's bitter. <laughs> okay, let's just try yours for now. Bigger ones, like that has a seed, the other one below it. Mmm. I've never tasted that flavor before. Right, and texture. Mmm. Oh. So good. So interesting. I'm trying to like bite around this thing. I'll save them for later. Really? To grow. Okay. <laughs> I'm really interested to see if you like tamarind. I know I like the paste. Is it a lot more? Uh, honestly, I would say so. The most natural one there is. Tamarind is next up. I can eat this whole thing. Yeah, but they have seeds in the middle, so so don't eat, that so don't eat the seed. Mm. Yum. like a cherry. Mm. How good? Mm -hmm. Does it taste like the sauce? Kind of. Save those seeds. Save the seeds. <laughs> she thinks I'm kidding, but I'm not. You like it? Mm -hmm. So nice. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, finger limes. Da 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 da. Finger limes. Which one should I do? I don't know. Which one speaks to you? Oh, you wanted it. No, 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 no. I'm like, yeah, eat it. I don't know how to open it because usually you like cut it in half, but smell it. Do you hear oh, it inside? That smells, good. that smells really good. Oh. It's probably going to be bitter, but I think I'm just going to bite it in half. But don't eat the skin. Oh, it's here. pink inside! Oh, cute! Look at like, this! Do you like sideways or do you like the same way? Yeah, just use your teeth and like one, one and done. It's better, it's better. Look at that! It's good. Oh yeah, it's like caviar. Pink. Pretty! <gasps> Save those seeds, please! Cheers. Cheers. Bitter? Sour. Yeah, sour. Mm -hmm. I like the texture of them. That's fun. 
How cute would these be on salad or crackers or cheese or, or just on a cheese board? Or just play it? Cute. You can't really find these in Canada. And I never seen them this fat. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. I love the sound it makes. I think your way was the way to do it. These are popping like my ears are popping. I'm a little sick. Oh, you're popping around now like no one's business. <laughs> Alright, thanks for coming to our fruit talk. Fruit talk. Yes. Woo! So